My name is Lori Walters, and I am the head of youth services at the Brighton District Library. We are a public library in Brighton, Michigan, in the United States, and we serve a population of around 50,000, and we are a standalone library, so we don't have any branches. We're the only one in our community. So we serve everybody in the community. So for programs at our library for children, we have a huge variety. Occasionally, we do have music programs. We invite either musicians to perform or we have a local music teacher come and lead a session for toddlers. So music is definitely a part of our um, outreach programs. Well, a few years ago, we decided to do a big uh, renovation of our outdoor space. We have a beautiful garden that is managed by the uh, garden club in our community. And so we ha also had a small playhouse um, that was donated probably 20 years ago um, that was in disrepair, but the kids really loved it. So we wanted to renovate that. And we decided that we should add some other elements for learning um, for our children. And so that's when we looked into getting the percussion play instruments. We just wanted a good variety of instruments and we kind of wanted them spread throughout the garden. So we have little um, nooks with different instruments. So we do have one with the two flowers. Um, we have one area with the um, xylophone, the big one and the small one. We're going to attempt, she'll be coming around the mountain. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> And then we have one area where we added the cyclone because we wanted to add a little bit of science in. With the cyclone, we have a sign that explains the science behind it. And we just wanted to include a bit of science in our gardens along with the music. So our community has really responded well to the instruments that we have added and to the cyclone. We see both children and adults playing. We see them playing together. Sometimes we see adults by themselves. It's just been really fun to witness. We have a lot of windows around the library, so it's fun to be able to look out and see who's making the music. I think it sounds kind of like wind chimes when, when you're inside and you just kind of hear the faint music being made. So it's a very pleasant experience. It's not, it's not like the people in study rooms are being disturbed. <laughs> you did much better than I did. That was good. <laughs>